Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today, we're going to reveal that you can find important trends in the performance of your wells using cross plots and cumulative frequency distribution plots. Well, you probably already know that these plots are valuable and that you can make them in Excel or other data visualization platforms. But did you know that you can do all this within Harmony Enterprise without the headache of passing the data out to another program? Let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll start with cross plots. Here we've got 60 shale gas wells. I've gone ahead and applied a decline analysis to each of the wells. So each well has a unique EUR and unique B value. One of the predictions that we may want to make is there a relationship between the peak rate of a well and the EUR. Let's go ahead and do that. First I need to find the peak rate and we can see that we could manually plug through each well and kind of write down the peak rate but you can imagine how time consuming that's going to be so instead we're going to go to our attributes we're going to make a brand new attribute we're going to call it peak rate we're going to click calculator this will pull up this calculator Okay, and so here we're going to look for this max column option. So we're going to click that. We're going to click operated gas rate. We'll put in the time range. So from zero, in this case, I'm using daily data. So I can type in the first year, 365 days. If you're using monthly data, you'll type in 12. Okay, and we see for this particular well, we have its peak rate extracted of 4.9 million. This well, in fact, we can pick all the wells and their peak rate is extracted from the production history. Now we want to cross plot this against the EUR. Go over to our results viewer. Now the first thing we need to do is actually pick all the wells that we want to include in the results. Next, we're going to use this filter option, and this is if we've done multiple analyses on each well. Maybe we have different sources of EUR. In my case, I'm going to pick this March decline analysis, which I used to generate an EUR for each well. Now I'm going to pick what I want to cross plot. In this case, uh, here's we, f we find the peak rate. We can just drag it, put it on the X or Y axis, and then we will find the EUR put it on the y-axis. And right away, I am seeing some sort of trend here. We can even add uh, a line on here and we can view the slope. We can, we can even change our x and y axes instead of from coordinate scale. We can check log log scale, log x, log y to see if this makes a difference in finding their trend. Okay, so it's that easy. What if we've done not just decline analysis, but we've done rate transient analysis. In that case, we'll have estimates of permeability, skin, drainage area, fracture half length, etc. So I've actually done RTA on each of these 60 wells, and I want to see if there's a relationship between fracture conductivity and how hard we've been pulling on these wells. So the drawdown. So let's compare the fracture conductivity against drawdown for the first six months. So I'm going to kind of clear this cross plot off. First, I'm going to get my drawdown. And I've actually made this uh, in the same way I showed you to find the peak rate. We've calculated the drawdown either at uh, as an average for the six, first six months or the uh, instantaneous drawdown at the six month period in the history. So I'll pick my average drawdown here for the first six months. And then under results, We'll go to our 
type curve and again this is a good time to use this filter option instead of using the decline I'm going to focus on the square root time or unconventional reservoir analysis I've done on each of these wells and we will go ahead and under URM we'll pick FCD Okay, so I think I'm seeing some sort of trend from the top left down to the bottom right. What this is telling me is that at higher drawdowns or lower bottom hole flowing pressure, we're getting a resulting lower FCD. Okay, so a lower number on our FCD means we're losing pressure in the fractures. Uh, and so this could be an indication that maybe I want to change my choke management strategy on these wells. Now just to highlight a few other of the many cross plots you could consider, here I've done an RT analysis and I'm looking at the ASRV or the S stimulated reservoir volume area versus the time to end of linear flow in days. This is something you do if you're doing RTA and unconventionals and I'm seeing a, a trend here, a relationship. What about trying to figure out what drives the six-month cumulative production? Well, if we're looking at deck or monthly production volumes, we could consider looking at the lateral length, which is, which is often included. So here I'm seeing a relationship between the six-month cum of all 60 wells and the lateral length. So in this case, it seems like a longer lateral length will result in a higher six-month cum. That's not a big surprise. But if I'm doing RTA, maybe I also want to look at the linear flow parameter or area square root k and how the six month cum responds there. In this case I see a much stronger relationship with this linear flow parameter compared to just the lateral length when I'm trying to predict a six month cum. So this might be uh, really helpful if I have a few months of production I get my linear flow parameter maybe I can have good confidence in picking the six month cum or predicting it for this well. Uh, another one if we're just looking at monthly production volumes. Maybe I want to compare the relationship between EUR from a decline and the lateral length and maybe I want to compare that among three different operators. So here I have operator number one and maybe I see a, a trend between EUR and longer lateral lengths. What if I add the second operator, operator number two, kind of a similar story, operator number three and another trend here on the same page. Okay, what about comparing EUR versus number of fracks? Again, something that we collect from Enerdeck if we're looking at monthly production volumes. So here we have number of fracks among 60 wells. We have estimated EUR from the decline. So I do see a slight upward trend here, something we might expect. If I add a different operator in the same area, and finally the third operator, we can see all these on the same page and try to find uh, this relationship and even compare different operators. So again, these are just some of the many, many cross plots, but the point is you can create them in Harmony Enterprise. You don't have to spend time passing data out of any software into another one like Excel or something else. Okay, let's jump and see how you can quickly find the average value of any result using the cumulative frequency distribution plot. Again, something you typically have to spend time passing data around. So let's imagine that our manager has asked us to come up with the average B value and EUR for all of our wells. You're probably getting ready to launch Excel and spend some time passing data around. You don't have to do this. Check it out. So again, I've picked all my wells. Going to go to my results viewer. And instead of doing a cross plot, we're going to pick this cumulative distribution function here. In this case, make sure that we've got our decline selected for each well. We're going to pick our gas EUR, and there we go. We see the range of EURs among the declines for all of these 60 wells, with my P50 being about 3 BCF. That's how easy it is. No data passing required. Now, so we can show our boss this plot, or we can just even copy it. And if we want to show it in a tabular format, just hit paste and all these numbers from that plot come in for any further customization. Or we can see our average B value. Okay. 
So just a little bit under 1. What if we're doing RTA? What if we want to find our average linear flow parameter? No problem. We'll make sure that we select our analysis that has that linear flow parameter in it. Go to results, URM, area square root K. Okay, so now we can see that linear flow parameter among all 60 wells and see that our average is right here. And that's it. So what does this mean for you? Well, this episode is all about time saving. Passing data from one program to another is such a time wasting activity in your day. So you can do that all within Harmony Enterprise just as quickly as I showed you here. The second thing is you can really quickly find these trends in well performance with cross plots and determine average well performance among your own wells when you're doing your own A and D work in Harmony Enterprise or evaluating your own operated wells. Thanks for watching. For any questions, please be sure to contact me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.